Hello everyone. Welcome to topic of the day. In this edition we shall be discussing about lithium exploration. Now this topic is important from both prelims and mains point of view, especially from GS3 perspective. So we will cover this topic from different perspectives. First of all, what is lithium or the chemistry behind this element lithium? Another one is significance or importance of lithium in today's world and for India as well. The usage or application of lithium and a little bit about the lithium reserves or the lithium triangle. So let's begin our today's discussion. Now this topic has come up in news as recently high grade lithium has been discovered in Nigeria. First of all let us see where is lithium found and who all are largest importers and producers of lithium. Now if we talk about the largest hard rock lithium mine in the world that is situated in western Australia and that is named as Green Bushes mine. Now what is this hard rock lithium mine? Lithium can be extracted in two forms. The first one is hard rock so it can be extracted from hard rocks and these are generally igneous in nature these are mineral ore deposits for example we have spodiumene and the next method we have lithium brine solution so these underground lithium brine solutions are found near salt pains and these brine solutions are converted to lithium carbonate finally lithium is extracted from this lithium carbonate now it is relatively easy to extract lithium from this method directly from the hard rock mines now if we talk about the major countries worldwide in lithium mine production we have australia at number 1 we have chile and then we have china at third place and these three countries combinedly mine around 86% of the world's lithium apart from these three countries we also have argentina brazil zimbabwe and portugal that are heavily involved in the mine production of lithium The largest importers of lithium include South Korea. We have China, Japan, United States and the Belgium. In fact, China is the biggest consumer of lithium in the world. We are not talking about the reserves, it is the third largest producer of lithium. If we talk about India, the first lithium reserve in India was discovered in the district Mandya of Karnataka. The Mandya district of Karnataka, it is near Bangalore. But as of now, India imports most of its lithium from China. So I leave you with one question where is the first lithium refinery of India situated you can write your answers in the comment section below now if we talk about world's lithium reserves over 50% of the lithium reserves of world are found in south america there's a special term given to it known as lithium triangle and here we are talking about three countries that is bolivia argentina and chile so let's look into the map where is lithium triangle located now if you look into the map there is a certain portion or intersection of three countries chile bolivia and argentina that is highlighted and this is in the form of triangle this is known as the lithium triangle so the intersection of chile bolivia and argentina make up for the region that is known as the lithium triangle that is in south america and it is believed that over 50% of existing known lithium reserves are found in this particular region and also the half of world's known reserves are located in bolivia as you can see the highlighted region in blue and this is along the eastern slope of the andes mountain ranges in south america now let us talk a little bit about lithium so lithium is represented by li and this is a alkali metal it is found in the first column of the periodic table so it was discovered in the year 1870 by swedish chemist johan august orfvetsen in the mineral petalite now petalite is it is also known by the name castorite and it is a lithium aluminum phycosilicate mineral Further on it is also found in pegmatite ores such as spodiumene as we have discussed earlier and lepidolite or in the amblygonite ores now these are usually found in the specialized rocks that are known as rare can greisens and these are the igneous rocks so lithium constitutes about 0.002% of the earth's crust now if we talk about some of the properties of lithium it is soft it is silvery white in color and it is also the lightest metal with low density and it is highly reactive like sodium and that is the reason it is never found free in nature that means it exists in combined forms in the ocean water and an interesting fact about lithium is that it can float on even the lightest hydrocarbon oils and is one of the only three metals to float on water the other two metals are sodium and potassium these two metals are also highly reactive now let us talk about some of the applications of lithium first of all lithium metal is used to produce useful alloys and also it is used to manufacture the electrochemical cells now lithium is a key component in electric vehicles laptops etc you might have heard of the lithium ion batteries and in most of the electronic batteries lithium is generally used 
Now, lithium is used in rechargeable batteries and it is also used in some of the non-rechargeable batteries for things like pacemakers that are for heart, toys and clocks, etc. These batteries are important because these are lightweight. Now, let us talk about the lithium reserves in India. So, India's first ever lithium deposit was found in southern Karnataka's Mandya district and it was surveyed by the India's Atomic Energy Commission. Currently, India imports all of its lithium needs specifically from China. Now, let us see the importance of lithium for India. First of all, it is helpful in energy transition or e-mobility. That means moving towards green energy or renewable sources of energy. It is also important for our energy security and also important for net zero goals or net zero emissions. That is also important for climate change mitigation. As we know that the integral component to battery system of ele electronic vehicles and large scale energy storage is lithium. Therefore, it is very important for climate change mitigation. Now, if we talk about the issues and challenges in this context, first of all, we have to make huge imports as there is no domestic source of lithium in the country, except from one or two that we have found recently. And then there is Chinese issue. We import maximum of our lithium from China, but we always had security concerns or geopolitical issues with China. Therefore, therefore, we cannot rely completely on the Chinese imports. Now, in the given scenario, what can be the possible way ahead? So, first of all, we have to focus on strategic partnership with the members of lithium triangle in India. Also, India has recently made a pact with Algeria towards fostering lithium from their reserves. Further on, in the 2022-23 union budget, there is a separate battery swapping policy alongside the FAME scheme of the government that was adopted. So, the FAME scheme talks about faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles. And FAME 2 is specifically to develop the electric vehicles. Now, let us take up one practice question from this topic. With reference to lithium, consider the following statements. First, it is never found free in the nature. Second, Australia is the largest exporter of lithium in the world. Third, India currently imports all of its lithium needs. And fourth, Chile, Bolivia and Argentina make up the region known as lithium triangle. Now, you have to select the statements that are correct. You can write your answers in the comment section below. So, the correct answer is D. That is, all the four statements are correct. So, the correct option is 1, 2, 3 and 4. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.